In San Jose, there are plans in the works to demolish a historic church to make way for a housing development. But as KPIX 5's John Ramis reports, some in the congregation are pushing for it to be declared a city landmark. Grace Baptist Church in San Jose played an important role in the civil rights movement of the 1960s, and they'd like to carry that mission of social justice into the future. The question is, do they need the building to do that? The church was built in the late 1940s and was at one time ministered by famous anti-war crusader Reverend Shorty Collins. The basement was used as an organizing location for the early United Farm Workers, and Cesar Chavez was known to speak here. Dr. Penny Hogue has been a member here since 1961 when she was a student at San Jose State. We had students from our uh, group here at the church go to the summer Mississippi and help register voters. And this uh, church represents a conscience and always has. But while the passion for social justice may live on, the building probably won't. Plans are in the works to demolish the huge block-long church property to create a new mid-rise housing and commercial use development here. Pastor George Oliver explains why. At the beginning of this year, you know, our treasury was somewhere dipping below $60,000 total for the year. And so we were, we were in a dire strait. Reverend Oliver says the church cannot exist with that financial situation, and he says the only way to continue its ministry is to give up the 80-year-old building. What we did was use the resources that God had given us almost a century ago in the best use of it now. He says the new development will include a 10,000 square foot space for the church with ceilings high enough to accommodate the church's huge silent film era theater pipe organ. But longtime church member Jean Wardrip says all the church's outreach programs operate from the building and she opposes the plan to demolish it. So it was hurried because this one made the most money. This particular development made the most money. And when you have a pastor that's only been here one year, he doesn't care about the history of the building or the building. He cares more about the money and what he can do with it. The pastor says the plan was approved by two thirds of the congregation and an agreement with the developer is already signed. But some who oppose it have filed to have the church recognized as a historical landmark for both its history and architecture. The city is considering the idea, but last week deferred a decision pending more investigation. In the meantime, the pastor says they're moving ahead with the plan that he says would sacrifice a building to save a church. Preservation would mean financial devastation for this church. And that's the short answer for it. It's still very relevant and uh, a vehicle of service to the least of these. In San Jose, John Ramos, KPIX 5. The pastor estimates it could take about two years to get city approval for the project and another three to complete construction.